Problem number 27. White has made this really light and flexible shape. How should black attack this group? Black should play the capping move here, and if white jumps, black should follow with a knight's move, and continue chasing it this way if white wants to continue. Because as white is running, black is working with his outside influence here, and getting ready to surround this entire area. If black does the more obvious thing and cut, then white is going to Atari and fix. Black will turn. And then white will jump into the center. Now white is making shape, is in the center, and black doesn't have any prospects of making that moya that we saw before. If black cuts the other way, then white is going to give up those stones and force black to capture them. White can play this later pretty much at any time and threaten to cut off these stones from the rest of the group. But for now, white is going to play the shoulder hit, and now white shouldn't have any trouble making eyes in the center. Problem number 31. How can black use the thickness that he got here to attack this group of stones? Black's move is the knight's move, which forces white to make some shape and jump to the center. And then black will push again. Again, white should give some sort of response here. And after white does, say something like this. Then black can come back and play a move around this area and make a nice looking moyo. If black does the more severe capping move here, white can push through. Um, unlike the other examples where black wants to do this, white already has some shape and if white comes through here and lives, this whole thing is pretty much going to get destroyed. So after black plays here and white pushes through, black really doesn't have a good follow up for this. Problem number 38. White's group of stones at the top here do not have any eyes yet. How should black attack them? Black should play the knight's move cap here, and if white plays the diagonal running to the center, black will follow with another knight's move. And if white keeps running, then black is just going to follow as long as he, as long as white allows him, because black is making this gigantic moyo working with this wall and all of the stones in the area. Alternatively, if black pushes from the other way, white's just going to continue jumping. And this is inviting white into black's territory, and black is losing all potential to effectively use all of this influence that he's gotten. Problem number 79, how should black attack white's two stones here? Black should play the capping move here. This works somewhat well with the influence, although it's mitigated by white's invading into the moyo with this stone. And from here, if white plays here trying to make shape and live locally, then black will play the knight's move here, sealing it in. This outside influence and thickness works really well with black stone here, so this is a good attack for black. If instead of making shape, white decides to push through, then black will play here himself. And now that white's base is removed from both sides, white needs to run and try and live in the center, which is going to be very hard for white to do. If black plays the more direct Hane here, white will Hane back. Um, and then if black pokes at this, white's just going to jump to the center. And with this, white has a lot of friends either running to here or running to here. And black really can't attack this group anymore. Problem number 118. How should black attack white's lone stone right here? Black should play the light cap of the knight's move here. And if white jumps out and attaches, black will Hane and follow. White can then make this table shape. Black will follow and connect up with this group. White can play a few more moves to make shape, like here, here, and then make a living shape right here. But then black will play here and look at the moil black just got. All this outside influence works well with his other outside stones. And this just works to finish sealing that off. If black plays the more severe capping move here, then white's going to push through this way. Um, again, the usual move is the knight's move here. White will push and then jump, shoulder hitting this stone. 
In order to maintain connection, Black will need to connect, and then White can make the bamboo joint. In order to keep him on the run, Black will play here, but then White's going to push out here. In order to try to keep him sealed in, Black will play here. White will then play diagonal, threaten to link up with these stones, so Black needs to block it with a move like this. And then White can jump. Black will try jumping again. And now White is effectively in all of Black's moyo, reducing us severely. So in order for Black to win at this point, Black needs to kill this group. But that's going to be very difficult for Black to do because White has so much room to maneuver. For instance, up here, there is still a lot of room for White to live on the side. Problem number 135. After Black caps and White pushes out with a diagonal here, how should Black continue attacking this group? Black's move is to play the knight's move attacking move. Typically for attacking, uh, you want to guide him lightly with a knight's move, and this is a, a good example of that. Whites will jump here, of course. Um, and now it's really important for Black to focus on his own weakness in his group here, and come back with a jumping move like this to connect up with the stones here. Um, if he doesn't do this, White will play there himself and separate the two groups, and then White will be the one attacking Black. So Black needs to reinforce. White will continue trying to get away with a move like this, and then Black will block White's access to the edge with this. This move is also sente against the corner here, because if Black turns, White is forced to run to the side, and this stone will help Black in killing the entire corner. So in order to prevent that, White needs to respond by saving the corner, which gives Black enough time to come back and do another Knight's move cap, forcing White to jump. And then Black will play here to help this stone out, but White has nowhere to run. Um, even if White tries pushing through here, it's going to run straight into this stone. So White's group is in serious trouble. Uh, just to clarify on the corner here, let's say that White decided to jump here. Then Black will turn, as I said. Then White will poke out here. Black can block directly. White can try cutting. Then Black is just going to Atari and pull this stone out to follow. Uh, if white pulls turns here, black will block with this move. And then if white tries saving these stones by extending, black will follow. And after white pokes here, black will hane, forcing white down. But now white's group is dead. White can't try pushing through here because when black blocks, this is Atari. And so white is just going to die immediately. White tries cutting again, this is Atari. These stones just don't have enough liberties to do anything. Um, if white tries starting the capture and he's like this, Black will just Atari. Again, all of White's stones are dead now. Uh, backing up a little ways. If after Black plays this move instead of the diagonal, White plays the Knight's move, then Black will play here, forcing White to maintain the connection, and Poke, forcing him to make the bamboo joint. And then Black is going to attack the corner from this way, just to get a uh, nice sealed in points on the side here. After White responds, protecting the corner, Black will finish sealing it in. Uh, remember, white stones are still not alive yet, so white needs to come back and try to capture the stone. Black is okay with giving it up because, again, the point of attacking is not to kill but to profit. So far, black has gotten all of this for profit. Now black's going to come back and start marking out this moyo. Um, after black plays here, white is going to secure their group with this move. And then black is going to stake out some more of the moyo. Um, this move is threatening against this group, so White needs to make some shape by poking here and then defending against the cut. And then after all this is done, Black's going to come and reinforce the corner. And so again, uh, relaying the fundamentals of attacking, Black did not really try to kill this group, but he used the attacking moves to stake out this entire side as well as this co giant corner that could be his. This is a very good example of how you should try to attack. Backing up a little bit uh, around this attack here, instead of trying to stake out more of a Black wants to harass this a little bit more. Black can poke at this and then make a table shape to save the stone. However, once White plays here, White is safe. And then after this exchange, if Black tries to attack White's group on the side again, White will have more room to maneuver because this stone is not there for Black. White has the potential to run through here as well as make shape. 